Novak Djokovic sparked outrage by calling for peace in northern Kosovo after winning his first match at the French Open. Here is a breakdown of what he said and what it has to do with the unrest in the sovereign European state. What did Novak Djokovic say? After winning his match, Djokovic signed the camera for a Serbian television network. This is not unusual, winning players regularly sign for television cameras after winning their matches. However, instead of signing on the screen, Djokovic wrote Kosovo is the heart of Serbia. Stop the violence in Serbian. At a press conference after match, Djokovic announced his decision to write the message to Serbian media. Serbian Kosovo is heart, our fortress, the center of the most important events for country. The greatest war took place there, the most important monasteries are there. There are many reasons why I wrote it on camera. Djokovic later reposted an of his signed message on his Instagram account. Why are people angry about this? Because Republic of Kosovo declared its independence from Serbia in 2008 after the Kosovo Albanians uprising against oppressive Serbian rule. Kosovo says more than 100 countries, including Australia, recognize it as a sovereign state. But its northern neighbor Serbia still regards Kosovo as part of its territory, and Serbia's traditional ally, Russia, does not recognize the country's independence. Kosovo, which also borders Albania, North Macedonia and Montenegro, has been grappling with unrest for decades. National Atlantic Treaty Organization forces have been conducting peacekeeping operations in the region since 1999. Petrit Selimi, Kosovo's former foreign minister, said that claiming Kosovo as the heart of Serbia is an unacceptable political, irredentist message. It's okay if tomorrow a Russian actor writes Crimea and Donbass are the heart of Russia. Stop the violence. Djokovic has a history of support for Serbian nationalist causes, he wrote on Twitter. What is going on in Kosovo now? Protests were held about last elections in northern Kosovo, where the majority of population is Serbs. Many Serbs boycotted the election and tensions escalated as Albanian mayors took office. Serbian protesters demanded that the Kosovo government dismiss Albanian mayors and reinstate Serbian-funded leaders. Peacekeepers known as the Kosovo Force have been helping local police protect four town halls from Serbian protesters since Friday. 25 NATO peacekeepers have been wounded so far. KFOR said the soldiers received traumatic wounds along with fractures and burns after being attacked with incendiary devices by protesters in the town of Svikan. This has led federal government tell Australians to avoid travelling the northern region of Kosovo today after reviewing its advice on Smart Traveller website. We have reviewed our recommendation for Kosovo, the site now says. We have not changed the level of our advice, in general use a high degree of caution. In sum, 